What's up guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. And are you guys wondering how to create this awesome and insane intro in Vegas Pro 15? All that's coming up. Welcome back to this brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and I'm sorry guys there was no video yesterday because I was so busy with business calls for brand deals for the channel and just you know doing some you know business behind the scenes for the channel but today I'm back with two videos one right now this how to create an insane intro and the second video of today that will come in about three hours from now is how to start a YouTube channel with zero money. If you guys are curious about that video, make sure you stay tuned and keep an eye on your sub box. And for this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly, like I said, how to create that awesome, insane intro that we just created. That's gonna be amazing. So I would say, make sure to smash the like button down below. Let's try to hit 250 likes. That should be easy. And I would say, let's get started. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro and there are a couple of things that we're gonna need. We're gonna need a video of some lights and also particles, a boom sound effect and some music. So we're gonna download them all from YouTube you can just type in lights um, you know stock footage and boom sound effect and download everything to your computer and once we've done that we're gonna come back to Vegas so I'm gonna give you guys a few seconds to pause this video download all the videos to do this along with me make sure to pause the video right now and download everything and once you've downloaded we can just start off with the video so now that we have all the files to the computer we're gonna drag them into our Vegas project okay so now that everything is dragged in we have a nice NCS song we have some black particles, we have some awesome lights, and that's basically what we have, and also little boom sound effect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna organize this a little bit, so we're gonna drag the music away for now. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and drag out, drag out the boom effect as well, because we don't need that just yet, and we're gonna start off with the lights. So I'm gonna cut it right here, because we don't want to have an intro of like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and make an intro that is about... Um, let's see, that's gonna be seven seconds. That's just a pretty, that's like the perfect length for an intro. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go ahead and create a new video track and we're gonna put those particles on top of it. So now we're gonna also remove the audio, press U because we don't need the audio of the particles because there is no audio. And as you can see, this is what it looks like and those are the particles we're gonna use. Now in order to see through those, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the compositing mode and click on screen. Now as you can see right now, we are seeing the particles through the lights and that's really amazing. And if you don't have those icons, just click on this guy, click on here, and you just want to make sure that everything is checked and all the icons will be back. So now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to add in a nice text effect. So we're going to go ahead and also uh, trim this down until it's the same length as the lights. Go ahead and insert a new video track. We're going to go to the media generators. We're going to pick titles and text. And what we're going to do is we're going to make your text zoom into the screen. And when it's finished zooming, when it's fully in the screen, fully visible, we're going to add in the sound effect, the boom, and the music. So I'm going to type in my name, which is going to be just Alex Halford in this case. It is not really fitting on screen, so we're going to make this 30. And to make it stand out a little more, we're going to go ahead and add in an outline. So I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. We are going to make the outline black so I'm gonna click on the white bar drag this guy all the way to the red one and then to the bottom and now we have a nice uh, logo or you know just our name so we're gonna also change the fonts to spice it up a little so I'm gonna go ahead and browse through a few fonts and let's see which one we're gonna pick I think this one looks very nice I'm gonna make it also a little bit bigger so that's really cool and that's and that's how you do it now in order to go ahead and you know make the text zoom we're gonna use the event pen and crop so I'm gonna also, right now, we're gonna drag in the boom sound effect. Let's see, and let's time it. I'm gonna put on my headset because there is audio, and let's time it, and let's make the text zoom, and when it's when the boom happens, it is, it is just fully finished zooming. So let's do that right now. Okay, nice. So right here, this is the zoom. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the uh, event pan crop icon, and at the beginning, what we're going to do is we're going to make this guy as small as possible. And then right here at the very end, we're going to go ahead and drag the keyframe to the end and click right, right click and restore. So now this should be timed on the boom. So that looks really cool. But as you guys can hear, there are also some glitches. So we're going to make those um, texts shake on the glitches. 
So right here the glitch starts and we're going to cut it right here. And then we're going to also do it right here when the glitch ends. And we're going to make this part shake. Now if you have, to, if you don't have the, um, the, the Sapphire plugin, you have to do this manually, you know, with the, if I'm going to crop and move it around. I'm going to go to video effects and I'm going to type in shake and I'm going to use S shake and I'm going to drag it on that middle part. Now if I go ahead and close this out, this is what it looks like. So that looks really cool and let's make the music uh, happen when the boom starts. So we're going to go ahead and look for the drop of the song. Okay, right here it is. Right here, that's the drop. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this part and I'm going to make that time and happen when the boom starts. And then when the song happens right here, I'm going to add in the last part of this song, which is uh, this to end it off. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it and I'm going to just delete that. Wait, I'm going to just cut right before that last part happens. And I'm going to put that one against each other to make it sound that it's done. That's a little bit too late. So that's, that's, that sounds really amazing and we're going to also make everything end when that happens. So I'm going to cut everything back to when the boom happens, the last one, so everything will turn black. So that's how to do it guys, this is how you create an insane intro and obviously you can also like understand different, you know, things under insane, but this is just an example of what you can do. So that was freaking amazing guys, I want to thank you guys for watching, thank you for the continuous support, I'll catch you guys in 3 hours for the last video of today, so make sure to stay tuned and I will see you guys obviously in 3 hours.